Welcome back graduates. Today, I'm gonna show you a game changer. So I've seen a lot of you guys, I've downloaded the wish list and uh, we have provided it for free because Don had so many variations and so many different updates that it was hard to keep up. And so what we wanted to do was create a badass wish list 2.0 that works on almost every theme and we'll list out the details and what it includes so this is going to be first and foremost this is going to be a paid snippet we've taken a lot of time to go into the snippet for you guys and you're gonna see why it's very powerful it works on almost every theme we have listed out the things that it does work out and also uh, this works on every version of Dawn and also the new upcoming versions of Dawn so you don't need to update if you do have any questions please email us at snippet snippets at ecomgraduates.com if there are any bugs that arise or any suggestions to improve on the snippet. We have tried to make this the best wish list as possible and also compatible for all themes as well. So what this looks like is you have your wish list. This is on our uh, demo store. And so I'm in a preview right now. This is going to be Dawn 12 right over here at the bottom left. And uh, so what it does is you can exit out and there's a little toggle on the right side bar. You can choose in the custom customization in the theme settings to have it left right you can also choose with the placement of it and also the colors things like that so what this does is this overlays and it provides not a modal not a pop-up but a window um, more or less and you can choose the uh, displays like so then you can also add to cart this is just for demo purposes but i can add this to cart twice as strong cold brew again it populates here and i can also untoggle it as well then it uh, lets me know how many are in my wish list as well what this looks like is on a product card you can have you can choose also the different colors as well selected so uh, right now it's selected the ones that are blue are not selected so it keeps on adding right over here as well and details goes to the product page so what this looks like is this is uh, the page it is going to be this price because of the work that we have done for it and uh, i want you to please go into the details right over here so the features that it allows is a floating wish list icon this works with local storage meaning that it doesn't work when the customer is logged in or logged out it just works with that browser it is one single file and you purchase the file and then you just copy and paste and then uh, you go in and configure it to your liking and it works it's available everywhere meaning that it is going to be on the product form it's going to be on the home page wherever there is going to be product cards and also on collections as well you can also have the add to wish with click of the icon itself and then if a product is already in the wish list the icon will render as checked then you have the view of the wish list and different uh, options of the view as well and then also you have the remove state of it and then product form uh, wish list adds to cart as well so keep in note that this does add to the page it doesn't add to the slide out cart with it so if i uh go into here add to cart and so i'll have studio twice as strong uh, we weren't able to figure out based on other themes if there was for slide outs things like that so it just adds to the uh, cart page but as you can still see it's it's here so this has been verified on our own personal theme as well all versions of dawn launch empire shapes gecko and a bunch of other themes as well and they're all great themes honestly they are i'm going to show you just a little bit of what you're going to have to do uh, so go into your customizer right over here the dashboard and i already have this so i'm just going to go and add a new version of dawn so i'm going to put it in this one right here the dawn review grid and what i'm going to do is i'm going to go in and edit my code and you're going to be given as always the one single file instructions how to do it and it's just a copy and paste after you create the section so the first thing is create the section called custom wishlist and there's an underscore right in between it go into here um, and create a new section and i'm going to call it custom wishlist to make sure there's no space also so now i created it and i'm going to go back into here and i'm just going to copy and paste this entire thing and there's a lot to go through with this but just copy and paste that entire string here and then you're going to want to click save the next fun thing is you're going to go in and customize now 
keep in note that when you go into the uh, theme editor, it's not going to uh, work exactly. So you're going to need the screen to be side by side um, in order to see it. So what, what I mean by that is you're going to have to open a preview state as well for this to kind of see it in action. So this is now my preview state. I don't have anything here. And the last thing I'm going to have to do in the code is go into my theme.liquid right over here. And right over here, where you see content for layout, right above that, I'm going to add this section, custom wish list. So now it's already there. That's the last step. I'm going to go into my customizer and I'm going to refresh. And now I see the wish list right over here. So when I go into here, this will already populate. Uh, when I go into this section here, I'm going to see that I can just enable or disable just in general right here. Then I have icon vertical position, which means top or bottom. And you'll see this if you click on save and then just go back and forth into this. And I see it right here. The reason why it's uh, place down here right now is because I, I I can choose to have the location of it but I chose down below as down here vertical eye composition so I'm choosing it top and I'm gonna click save and I'm going to refresh and now it's at the top uh, so that looks great now you'll see that you know there's not really a clear identification of colors when selected you can choose for that option as well and that would be uh, down here the knob color itself right here you can uh, change that i'll make it like bright color so you can kind of see the difference so there you can change the colors and go back and forth into your previous state and kind of see that the knob color has been changed out um, then the mouse over state, that's the colors that you can choose when hovering like so. And then also selected state, so you can do different colors as well. So the selected state, I'll do that for example, and just play around with the colors and also the orientation of it as, as well. So now they are blue icons with black selected, so I can change it around as well. And then we give you the uh, heading for it. The heading will look like this, your wish list, and it just automatically works. So that's really great. One of the other things to take a note is you can have a product grid gap, uh, 12 pixels. Link image means that currently right now, if I click on the image, it does not link to the product. But if I go in and select this, I'm gonna click save. And also I want the title to be linkable too. I'm gonna click save for that. And I'm going to refresh, go into my wish list, And now you can see on the very bottom left that they are linkable and the title is now linkable as well. Uh, so you can toggle that on and off. You can change out the uh, card background, which is the product card itself. Uh, the color in addition to uh, use card uh, card shadow like a little tiny drop shadow and then you can choose the color as well for it um, then you can also choose the uh, wishlist grid count you could choose five you could choose three and then the gap as well so i'll do like three for example go back and forth just play around with it a little bit um, and i'm gonna add more to my wish list and uh, we also have display purposes for your customers as well. There you go. Um, it does work again on um, all those themes that we stated. And moving forward, we're going to make sure that it does work on even the most uncommon of them themes as well. Please let us know if you have any questions. This is a very robust wish list. We love it. I think you will too. If you go to you know the collections or the product grid right here, uh, you can choose different colors, um, add it, and then it just goes in and it just adds very simply to your cart. And and also you can remove it this does again work there should be uh, no bugs uh, with this but again please comment um, if there is and send us an email thank you so much and please make sure to like subscribe and comment to this uh, channel it does help with the youtube algorithm so we can provide you guys with great snippets uh, for you thank you